Christmas lights in your life. I know. So we're here at Stern's Wharf with Michelle Berman, who is the curator of vertebrate zoology at the Museum of Natural History. Michelle, can we ask you a few questions about the beautiful whale that's down there? Sure. How long has it been here? Uh, the whale was first spotted at 6 o'clock this morning, swimming in the same vicinity. Do you know who noticed it first? Uh, well, at 6 o'clock there was a runner that spotted it, and then at 6.30 the person working the gates to the parking stand um, also spotted it. And what can you tell about the whale just from observing it uh, from up here on the wharf? Um, it's definitely a young California gray whale and it's been swimming around um, displaying some normal behaviors and we have had gray whales in this area in the past last year. We had two feeding here for about a month and previous to that we had another one in the area. So it's not totally uncommon to have gray whales here this time of year. Which direction are they traveling this time of year? Um, it really depends. Some may still be traveling south, um, and then there may be a few of the early males to leave traveling north. So if people want to come down and see this creature, what uh, kind of opportunity do you, do you think they have to do that today? Oh, it's a fantastic opportunity to go whale watching without getting seasick. Uh, we do ask that people respect the whale and its own habitat. Um, you know, stay quiet, stay up on the wharf, don't try to get on the water in kayaks and get too close to the whale. It really does stress a whale out when there's people on boats right on top of it. Great. Anything else you can tell us? Um, we have some great models of, of a gray whale mom calf in the sea center, and it's a great opportunity if they do miss this one to go inside the sea center and learn a little bit more about the gray whales. Well, thank you so much.